Hello everyone, and welcome back to the lab. In this video, I'll be preparing one bromobutane. I will use 11 milliliters of N-butanol, 7.4 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid, and 17.5 milliliters of concentrated hydrobromic acid. I first added the hydrobromic acid to a 50 milliliter round bottom flask. Next, I stirred the mixture while slowly adding 4.1 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. To keep the mixture cool, I placed the flask in an ice bath. After this, I poured in the end butanol. This doesn't need to be kept cold, but I just left it in the ice bath while I did this. Finally, I added 3.3 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. The flask was lowered into my oversized heating mantle and a condenser was placed on top. This is preparing for the reflux that will take place next. Water flow was started in the condenser and the heating mantle was turned on. Once the contents of the flask started to boil, I started the clock and refluxed the mixture for three hours. Once the three hours was up, I turned off heating and let the flask cool to room temperature. You can see that two layers formed, the upper layer being our product. I set the flask up for symbol distillation to recover the bromobutane. The mixture was distilled until no more oily and cloudy drops came over. After this, the distillate separated into two layers, and there was only one layer present in the boiling flask. The bottom layer, seen here, is the bromobutane. It was then washed with water, hydrochloric acid, water, sodium bicarbonate solution, and lastly water. These steps aren't included because I have a feeling that all of my viewers know how to use a separatory funnel. Following the final washing, the cloudy bottom layer was transferred to a vial containing some calcium chloride to dry it. As you can see, after a few hours, it had cleared up completely. The liquid was transferred to a 25 milliliter round bottom flask and a stir bar was added. Unfortunately, I spilled a bunch and got some calcium chloride into the flask. After a small amount of forerun, the product came over between 95 and 98 Celsius. This boiling point is almost 10 degrees too low, and I attribute this to my crappy thermometer. Given the properties of the liquid and the chemicals we put into the reaction, there's really nothing this could be other than our desired product. The final yield was 7.96 grams, or 48.3%. The disappointing yield is a combination of small scale and me spilling a bunch into my heating mantle during a transfer step. This has been the preparation of one bromobutane. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.